What's up, everyone? Welcome to the Power Play with CJ. Today, we're going to focus in on the second round matchup. One of the best matchups in the history of hockey, really, over the years. Not necessarily this year, but um, on the whole, between the Chicago Blackhawks and uh, Detroit Red Wings, it could be their last playoff matchup for a very long time, as uh, Detroit will be moving to the Eastern Conference next year. Um, you know, Chicago did what they had to do. They were one of the best. They won the President's Trophy. They were the best team in the regular season. Uh, dispatched a pretty good Minnesota Wild team that, you know, was really breaking in some new faces in a lockout shortened season uh, in five games. And then, uh, you know, the Red Wings went, um, went seven to beat the uh, the favorite Anaheim Ducks, and, you know, including game seven in California. You know, no, no easy task for the uh, grizzled vets of the Detroit Red Wings. And, you know, Detroit's, you know, they're the, been the, They've been the best model of consistency in the NHL over the last twenty, you know, two plus decades. You know, they've been in the playoffs, you know, twenty one, twenty years running consecutively, and they've, you know, they earned their spot this year. They had to scratch and claw to get in, which is a position they're not used to. You know, they're usually one of the better teams in the league every single year, but uh, you know, they show their true colors beating Anaheim, and you know, it's tough. They drew a tough matchup in their division rival. And but I got to give the slight edge to the, the I got to give a big edge to the Chicago Blackhawks. They had more time off. They were playing pretty much. I'm not sure if talking about Minnesota and Chicago in the same time zone, but you know the the time differential in the Anaheim series definitely through will have its you know take its toll in Detroit. And um, you know Chicago beat Minnesota with the zero combined goals from Kane and Tate. So let that sink in for a little bit. Your two best players, two of the best players in the game. Don't score a goal in a five-game series. Duncan Keith played on another level. Uh, you, you know, the, the star, former Norris Trophy winning defenseman on the back end. You know, he had five points in five games. You know, I think his wife had a baby during the series, too. And, um, you know, Corey Crawford, Emery will be back on the on the bench as a backup. But with Emery out, Corey Crawford really stepped his game up psychologically knowing he's he's the number one guy. And there will be no challenge to him. I think that's going to help him in the in the Red Wings series. No, he's already won a series for the first time in his career. He's going up against a very good goalie in Jimmy Howard. But I give the edge to Croft. I give the edge goaltending wise to uh, to Howard. I think Howard's a better goalie, but I think Croft will be benefit from having a better defense playing in front of him, as opposed to you know Detroit's no name defense, who really stepped up and played pretty well, especially in Game Seven. Uh, Brendan Smith looks like he's you know really figuring it out. You know the former first round pick and. Uh, you know, the talent level is there throughout that lineup, and I think they're going to continue to, to play hard, work hard, and get better on a night in night out basis. But, um, and that, that goes even next year. Going in with camp, they'll have a better opportunity to, you know, learn the nuances of playing with one another. But, uh, you know, when you subtract a guy like Nick Lidstrom from your blue line, pretty tough to, uh, to fill that void. But, you know, Detroit's whole mantra is sound defensive hockey, and their forward core. Uh, is a shining is a testament to that. You know, Dotson has been a, a Selkie Trophy winner in the past. Zetterberg's a great defensive forward, and even the younger guys, you know, Gustav Nyquist, guys like that, have um, you know stepped up and played big roles offensively. Nyquist having a big overtime winner, but um, also you know learning to play the, the Detroit Red Wings way, you know, so to speak, to back check, create turnovers, and you know, be great defensively to contribute offensively. You know, and uh, you know that's what it takes to win, and that's. What they've preached all those years. Babcock's one hell of a coach. No disrespect to Coach Q, but Babcock's a better coach in the series. You know, they both won the cup. But um, I, I give it to Chicago on five. You know, I just, I can't, I love to try. They're the model of consistency. You know, they're the New England Patriots, the San Antonio Spurs, uh, you know, St. Louis Cardinals, I guess, not necessarily the Yankees in baseball. I guess you can go with the Yankee analogy. Um, but, you know, for the last couple of decades, they've been, they've done what no other team's done, that's win consistently. And Ben and you know be a pretty good playoff team. It's tough playing against them, but I think the Anaheim series and the fact Chicago is just that good, plain and simple. They're that good, and uh, I think they'll dispatch on five games. I think uh, Kane and Taves will arrive. I think Brandon Saad will step up and play a, a big role for the the Hawks, and I think the the rest of the team will you know follow suit. I mean they did not play their best hockey against Minnesota, and they won pretty easily. So when that when that great of a team is playing subpar and getting wins. And the coaching staff has, you know, a week, ten days to, you know, get in their heads and say, you know, you gotta step up, you gotta play better, you gotta play Blackhawks hockey. That's a deadly mix if you're going up against them, because now, you know, they know what they've got to do, they know what they're capable of doing, and they're gonna go out and do it. So it's gonna be up to Detroit to stop their execution. Um, but I think if Howard comes up big, maybe Detroit is a Howard comes up huge every single night. Detroit is a pretty has a shot, but I just I like Chicago too much. This just might be their year again. Anyway, that's all in this episode of the Power Play with CJ. 
previewing the Chicago Blackhawks and Detroit Red Wings second round matchup. Stay tuned for more episodes throughout the playoffs and beyond. Later, guys.